We've already addressed. You went to prison for 10 years. Um, it was a lovely time. For selling weed. Great time. You made millions. Selling weed, you know, massive violence, robbery, assault mm. with a deadly weapon, um, burglary. Not not the good stuff. Yeah. I, I, I went to prison for 24 hours. It ain't for me. <laughs> okay. That's fight. jail. Like when, when, yeah, when, correct. When, when, when Andrew Tate's on here and he's saying, they're saying he went to prison for 90 days. You went to fucking jail. Prison is a stretch of time, like years. Sure. That's prison. You went to jail, okay? <laughs> don't pa don't pace in the room like you fucking did a stretch with a out a beard all grown out when you did ninety fucking days. I've done ninety days in a handstand. So are you not a Tate fan? Uh, are you not no, I love the guy, but I don't like that. I love that guy. So all right, we'll talk about Tate. I was going to no, play south I, I with fucking, this. I love the dude. Okay, but I just don't like when people say they went to prison mm -hmm. when they were in fucking jail. Imagine someone who did ten years, and then some people talking about someone who did ninety days. Mm -hmm. Like well, I'm a motherfucking convict. We, like <laughs> if, if you if you roll yeah. up, like I don't give a fuck who you are. They're going to make sure that your paperwork comes to me mm -hmm. and I'm going to be like, I'm going to say yes or no. Everyone reports to me. Like I'm in there for a fucking decade and I outweigh all these cupcakes and I outweigh them in the money. I outweigh them in life. I outweigh them in everything. Fucking institutional sophistication is my forte. Mm. No matter what, if I land on a yard, mm -hmm. everybody's like, Fuck, Wes Watson from Dago landed. Uh, That's why it says W W D A G O. When I walk up with my shirt off, they're like, Wes Watson from Dago's here. Oh shit, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Shit's about to change. Everybody wins if I'm there. Same thing as on the street. It's just what it is. But I mean, these people live in a like kind of like a fictional fucking land of all this shit. I really do it. Like, I'm really the gangster motherfucker who really made millions before prison. I really went to prison, had more money than most of these people on the street in prison. And I really got out of prison and still made millions outside of prison. Mm -hmm. Like, they make movies about people like me. This other shit is kind of like social media pumped up or some shit. Mm -hmm. They didn't really do any of the shit they're talking about. Like, it's not like... They didn't really hurt anybody. It's not real shit. They kind of get in trouble for like chalked up shit. It's not like, nah, that fool used to dump shells in people's fucking windows. Mm -hmm. Nah, that fool did splatter that dude everywhere. Like there's the fucking mess and he really is fucked, you know? Like I got weapon charges in prison, stabbing mm -hmm. charges in prison. I have A1-115s where the fucking paperwork is, it's murder, attempted murder, assault with a inmate manufactured weapon. To where, like, you don't get out of prison. I, I was in a shoe term for 14 months for an A1 offense, 115, that was an inmate manufactured weapon because someone just wanted to talk shit in there. So mm -hmm. he got his fucking shit fucking sliced the fuck up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like, all these motherfuckers out here, they act violent. They talk about it. Like, I don't want to be violent. I want to be a better dude. Like, mm -hmm. I'm tortured by my violence and my fucked up mindset. Like, mm -hmm. Like, where I come from, it's like... So disrespectful for you to even like ever get over on another man. Like these people come from some other world where like like you can fight and like box and shit. Where I come from, if you like whoop the head dude's ass, mm -hmm. everybody's like, why did you do that? <laughs> We're all fucking dead. Like that guy can't take that right. Mm -hmm. You've just completely mm -hmm. disrespected everybody from this town. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fucking kill you. Mm -hmm. Like they, they, we're, we're bred to not take disrespect. We don't take licks. We come back and get you worse. And that's just what it is. It's convict shit. But everyone's like civilians acting like they're tough. Like convicts will kill you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. They're like, what about MMA fighters in prison? The guys in prison are there for brutally murdering people. <laughs> Many people. They're not there for putting on gloves and fighting. You better not fuck them up. They're going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Like, it's completely different. You want to go to prison, Nat? <laughs> Yeah. I'm okay. So anyway. I'll jump you into my prison. Oh, yeah. shit. I'm okay. <laughs> Orange is the new brown. Nat, you featuring it. Natalia Del Valle. But anyway, you brought up Tate. So I love the guy. I love, okay. I love the... Okay. Some of the shit he says about, like, depression mm -hmm. and, like, how it's, like, a, a internal notification that you're doing something wrong in life. You need to check. I love... 99% of what the fuck he says. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't get twisted. I just... when It was just my first thing about talking about people who do time. Like, mm -hmm. like... Mike Tyson well, let, did like real time, right? No he had like doubt. Four years Ty or we did an interview with Tyson. Yeah, that but guy Tyson, transformed he, he his was life. like, he was like straight up, like he's like, 
you guys think you, he's like, you, you don't know a crazy motherfucker like me, you know? And those old videos, like, he's really fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. went to prison he's a lot more chill now. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, he's nice. you, know, you, know what, you know what's funny? You know what? You're going to appreciate this. You know, we had uh, we had uh, Tyson. You were there that day. Mm -hmm. well, you were there. I met him out front. Yeah, exactly. So we had we did a podcast with oh. him that morning with Tyson with Michael Francis. Shout out to Michael Francis. Yeah. Shout out to Tyson. Shout out to Kurt, Both our mutual friend. Shit. Mm -hmm. oh, we had lunch, and Tyson, his wife shows up. Now, when I tell you, he's like, "Anything I can get you, honey." His wife okay? I'm like, "Hey, uh, Mike, oh, we have a mutual friend. He wants to get in touch with you. Uh, how do you want me?" He's like, "Yeah, just talk to my wife, honey." Like, like. Doting husband, the P, the third P. Present. If Michael Tyson <laughs> I, I just think could do right. it, yeah, that, Wes the, the, Watson, the, the I'm is, just saying there's hope for you, brother. You. No, but the thing is, that's a lie. Like, <laughs> they, they, like maybe it is. <laughs> no, but, but he's playing no, the no, role, no, dog. No, no, fuck playing it. Like, <laughs> what if I could really just be me? Wouldn't that be more love? Yeah. If I could just be me and be like, you know what? Shut the fuck up. You know I love you, but shut up. Yeah. All right. Well, here's like, <laughs> here's Tate right now, and just full disclosure, I know that you said that you like. Oh, the guy. I love his shit. The dude is. A, I love the dude. I'm a, I'm a friend. I'm a love fan. The I, dude. I, I, I I really appreciate everything he says. I think it's a complete shame what's going on. Here's when PBD and I flew to Romania in to Bucharest to the Tate compound, and we asked Tate about his time in jail. Good sir. Yeah, yeah this was okay. the only person that I could think of that that recent. You know. yeah. Go ahead, Malik. What it does is confirm everything you already know. It confirms everything you know about the reality of the outside world, that you need to be physically strong so that you're not attacked by others and mentally strong so you're not attacked by yourself. You need to learn uh -huh. who's on your side and who isn't. You learn who's a coward and who's not. You learn who's an opportunist and who isn't. Your, your circle, you certainly learn a lot about the people around you when you go to a jail cell, that's for sure. But I remember it was New Year's Eve. When I, when I was first picked up on the 29th of December, I was very sure I'd be out 24 hours. Now, there's no way they're gonna keep me. For, for what? Like, oh my God, not, that's the worst feeling. So finally New Year's Eve rolls around and uh, I'm sitting in the, in the jail cell by myself and in Romanian jail, you don't leave the room. It's not like an American jail where there's a yard or anything. You're stuck in the room. It's three by four, and that's your existence. You just stay in the room. by yourself? 24 hours a At the beginning, I was by myself. Um, so he goes on to tell a story about he's stuck in prison, New Year's Eve. It fucking sucks. But at the beginning of that, he talks about you have to learn a lot about yourself. I don't right? Who you are, how mentally strong you are, how physically strong you are, who to fuck with, who not to fuck with, who to align yourself with. So, you know... Hopefully, people out there are not going to prison, not going to jail, not making these mistakes. There's a lot of stages. But what do you learn prison? about yourself? So there's, there's a lot of stages of prison. So when you first enter prison, it's called reception, mm. and you don't leave yourself for like four months till they figure out what your gang affiliation is. Mm. They figure out what you're there for. They can't let you out if you're there for touching kids or something. Mm. These motherfuckers are gonna saw your head off in the middle of the day room and just laugh about it. Oh. Like the second someone is there for a rape charge, something on kids, yeah. yep. anything like that, first. They just make sure they slice your face right oh. here so they know that you're marked and then they're gonna cut your fucking head off. Like, oh, so, that's you, like so what's the worst thing to be in jail? A child molester. If, you, if you've touched kids, Go oh ahead. my God, they're gonna fucking have the funnest time with you. They're just gonna wait and what they're gonna do is they're gonna, they know you got bad paperwork. I've seen this happen plenty of times to where the guy, everyone knows he's got bad paperwork. Everybody in the building knows. Yeah. And he doesn't know that. What does bad paperwork mean? It means that he has a, a rape charge, an R on his jacket, mm. or a, a child molestation charge, or like a pimping and pandering of like lewd and lascivious under 17, mm -hmm. like the LNL 17 or 14. And these are codes because we check your shit. Now we'll go on a cell phone and check Megan's law too to see if you're a fucking chomo, which is a child molester. Oh, now, Jesus. There's guys who slip through the cracks, and I think the cops nowadays do it on purpose because they know they don't like the guy and they want him killed, you know? Mm. So the dude slips through the cracks, and um, everyone finds out, hey, this dude's fucking got bad paperwork. So the, the two guys who are going to hit him, you know, they got big old fucking bone crushers, and this is like a big-ass knife. Either You make either a tomahawk in prison, which is a bunch of razor blades melted into a toothbrush, or you make a bone crusher, a piece of steel that is going to take lives, you know? And so those are the two types of knives in prison that we make. And so they're, they get the guy all pumped up. Like, they'll be like, come on, Derek, let's go hit the yard. And they'll just get them all working out in front of everybody. And everyone's like, oh, my fuck, this is going to be so fucking disgusting. Like they're making, oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're giving the show. impression that we're, oh, we're your my. friend, we're yeah, your buddy, yeah. let's go do a workout. Yeah, let's get your heart rate flowing. So oh, when you Jesus. bleed, you bleed the fuck out. And they're just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get this, bro. And he's just like, yeah, like I got friends on the yard, like, and he's yeah. all happy. Yeah. And like, this guy's gonna be dead in like twenty minutes. Straight up. Yeah, and you just know he's gonna be dead. And like, any of you guys who've never seen someone killed, you don't realize we have a soul. There is a yeah. there is a God or a universe or yeah. 
something leaves us. You've never seen someone go from sitting here next to me like Adam mm-hmm. to turn into a bag of putrid fucking meat with no movement in one second. Mm-hmm. Just turn into fucking jelly, dude. They're just fucking blah, just done. But say they get this guy pumped up, doing a bunch of burpees. The second he jumps up to grab the bar to do some pull-ups, usually the, the go-to is right under the waist. <laughs> And then he goes to grab his waist, and then they get his neck. And then he's just like, now his fucking next cut. Right here, when you jump up and you grab a bar, this is where the abdomen is so fucking weak, where you get like abdominal tears, like abdominal tears from like a fucking, uh, like a whatever, uh, what are they called? A hemorrhoid? Or no, not, um, what are they called? Like when you get a A hernia. Yeah, hernia. hernia. Yeah. Like it's so weak right there that if you have a real knife right there and you fucking slice someone, their guts will just fucking spill the fuck out. So I mean, usually like they'll just go for boom, the guy goes and grabs it, bam, cut his neck. I mean, but if if they can't get him like good enough, dude just sitting there, they're just gonna come up behind him and just start pounding his fucking chest. I mean, I've seen so many people get killed in prison, it's just ridiculous. And I know we have a soul. Like I just something leaves our body. We go from lit up humans breathing with all this energy to just fucking lifeless. And it's number one, this is fucking traumatic as shit even hearing this but you took away from the as wild as that story is a belief in god so if you like that clip click right here to watch another or if you want to watch the entire sauce cast click right here